The Flash of Season 8 began with the Nora and Bart-centered episode Impulsive Excessive Disorder, which took up immediately after the Season 7 conclusion. Nora and Bart returned to 2049 after assisting Team Flash with the Godspeed War to learn that their intervention had saved Jay Garrick's life. While this was initially welcome news, the young speedsters soon discovered that Jay's marriage to Joan had also fallen through, necessitating a trip back in time to correct the error. However, they mistakenly retconned Central City's first meta-crime in the process. The West Allen children determined that the alteration occurred because their grandfather Joe West was shot during a heist back in 2013, while Barry was still in his nine-month coma following the particle accelerator explosion. Bart thought this would be a simple remedy, so he utilized his super speed to transfer his grandfather out from the bullet's path, assuring Joe's safety during the encounter. Nora, on the other hand, was enraged with her brother, she was concerned about the consequences of relocating Joe instead of the gunshot. Mona Taylor the Queen, a founding member of the Royal Flush Gang, overheard her arguing with Bart over his risky behavior. Since the incident in 2013, Mona has been under the impression that she is the only one with special skills. Metahumans didn't start to emerge from the shadows to create havoc in Central City until much later in the year, with the arrival of the Flash. Mona was relieved to learn that there were more powerful creatures in the city after overhearing the speedsters. This news motivated her to loot a casino with the aid of King, Jake Fox, and Wanda Wayland, who would later become the Royal Flush Gang. While the Royal Flush Gang would have formed without the kids messing with the chronology, it wouldn't be for a few years after the explosion and long after many other meta-criminals had emerged from the shadows, including the very first meta-criminal, Clyde Martin the Weather Wizard. Martin made his debut appearance in The Flash's premiere episode, giving Central City its first taste of hazardous metahumans. Fortunately, Barry had awoken by then and was able to halt Martin in his debut appearance as the Scarlet Speedster. Many other metas tried their hand at using their skills to commit crimes and test Central City's new hero after that. However, in the newly changed reality, with the formation of the Royal Flush Gang early on, Central City was introduced to metahumans many months before they realized there was a hero who could defend them from such dangers. Nora and Bart were able to halt the Royal Flush Gang without injuring or killing anyone, keeping Central City secure long enough for Barry to awaken from his coma and fight Martin as he had done previously. Jay was still alive, well, and married to Joan when the kids returned to the future. However, their little retcon of Flash history persists, implying that certain Central City residents were served metas as an appetizer before Clyde Martin's weather-controlled main meal. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.